Welcome to Strange, revealing strange stories of the paranormal, bizarre coincidence, and unexplained phenomena. I'm Chris Batchelor. Thank you for listening. You can find out more about Strange Podcast and connect with us on Facebook and Twitter by visiting strangepodcast.com. In this episode, we investigate the strange phenomena of moon music, unexplained sounds, and audio anomalies. On the 20th of February 2016, a fascinating story swept across the internet and took paranormal enthusiasts' social media feeds by storm. It was the story of formerly secret recordings of the Apollo 10 astronauts' response to hearing strange, otherworldly music whilst out of radio contact with Earth on the dark side of the moon. It was 1969 two months before Apollo 11's historic first man landing on the moon, when Apollo 10 entered lunar orbit, which included traversing the far side of the moon, where all spacecraft were out of radio contact with Earth for about an hour. Nobody on Earth can hear or see them. As far as the public knew, everything about the mission went smoothly. However, transcripts and recordings released by NASA seem to suggest different, that something quite unsettling happened during that hour in the dark. That hit music even sounds outer space doesn't it? Do you hear that? That whistling sound? Yeah. Richard. Yeah, it sounds like, uh, you know, outer space time music. The recordings contain strange, otherworldly music coming through the Apollo module's radio. The recorded conversation between the three astronauts indicated they'd heard sounds like they'd never heard before. The sounds lasted almost an hour, and just before the astronauts regained radio contact with Earth, they discussed whether or not to tell Mission Control about what they had experienced. So did the Apollo astronauts really hear something otherworldly, or is there a more rational explanation for the strange audio occurrences? Well, it turns out, after much extraterrestrial excitement, the source of the outer space music is in fact quite terrestrial. The Apollo 10 astronauts flew to the moon in a command module, and two of the crew members also took a ride in the lunar module dropping down to less than 10 miles above the moon's surface. The whistling sound, or moon music as it's now been dubbed, was nothing more than interference between the VHF radios on the two different vehicles. It's true the astronauts sound genuinely awed and puzzled by what they heard, and they do bring it up multiple times in conversation. But at no point in the audio or the transcripts does the incident seem to raise an alarm with the three men. So it would appear, this time at least, there is a rational explanation for the strange outer space phenomena. Whilst researching the available material, transcripts and audio for this podcast, it's become clear that there are in fact countless unexplained strange noises that have been captured a little closer to home. In fact, there are so many apparent unidentified recordings taken from underwater, underground, in the sky above us, and above ground, I'm sure we'll be revisiting this topic again in the near future. For now though, here's a look at what's become the top five most notorious unidentified audio anomalies.
Upsweep is an unidentified sound that's existed at least since the Pacific Marine Environmental Laboratory began recording using its underwater sound surveillance system with listening stations around the world in 1991. The sound consists of a long train of narrow band up sweeping sounds of several seconds duration each. The source location is difficult to identify, but it's in the Pacific, around the halfway point between Australia and South America. Upsweep changes with the seasons, becoming loudest in the spring and autumn, though it isn't clear why. The leading theory is that it's related to volcanic activity. The bloop is one of the most baffling, unexplained sounds. In 1997, an extremely powerful ultra-low frequency sound was detected at various listening stations thousands of miles apart and traced to somewhere west of the southern tip of South America. The sound only lasted about a minute and was heard repeatedly over the summer but not since. The bloop is generally believed to be the sound of a massive ice quake, but scientists haven't totally ruled out the possibility that the sound originated from something organic. That's where things get a bit eerie. If an animal were the source of the bloop, it would have to be larger than a blue whale. The bloop remains the ocean's greatest audio mystery. The hum has been recorded on several occasions, mostly during the last 50 years or so. In these cases, there have been reports of a relentless and troubling low frequency humming noise that can only be heard by a certain proportion of the population. It's difficult to pinpoint when instances of the hum began, but it's been well documented since the 1970s, and since then, cases have popped up all over the world. From Ontario, Canada, New Mexico to Bristol, England, to Scotland and Auckland, New Zealand. The first recording is taken from a baseball game in 2011. The second recording is taken from Bristol in the UK in 2016. And finally, a recording that we're unable to trace. The first inning. That's a haunting sound if we've ever heard one. One ball, no strikes. <laughs> and the bunt is foul. The count is one and one. Now what could that possibly be? Somebody shut the door. It sounds supernatural. There he is again. I don't know what it is, but it's been some strange cloud formations. I don't know if that's got anything to do with it, but it's freaking me out. I've heard about these noises from other places, but um. Never thought I'd hear it in Bristol. Never thought I'd hear it in Bristol. Kiss it up. In most instances, the affected group only makes up around 2% of the population. 
but for those individuals, the hum is largely inescapable and impossible to track. Those affected report never having heard noises before and say the hum is generally heard indoors and becomes louder at night. It's also most common in rural and suburban areas and among people aged between 55 and 70. Scientists have long investigated the cause of the drone, occasionally tracing it to industrial equipment emitting particular frequencies. For the most part though, the sound has left the world completely puzzled. The list of other possible culprits is long and wide ranging, while as communication devices, power or gas lines, electromagnetic radiation, radio waves or earth tremors are all suspects. Because the hum appears and disappears, and because the cause may vary from case to case, the phenomenon still baffles researchers. At this point, a few things are clear. The hum is real, and a likely byproduct of 21st century living. Skyquakes, or unexplained sonic booms, have been heard around the world for the last 200 years or so, usually near large bodies of water. These head scratchers have been reported on the Ganges in India, the east coast and inland finger lakes of the US, near the North Sea, as well as in Australia, Japan and Italy. The sound, which has been described as mimicking massive thunder or cannon fire, has been connected to everything from meteors entering the atmosphere to gas escaping from vents in the Earth's surface, and earthquakes, military aircraft, underwater caves collapsing, and even a possible byproduct of solar and Earth magnetic activity. UVB-76, also known as the Buzzer, is a number station and has been showing up on shortwave radios for decades. It broadcasts at 4,625 kHz and after repeated buzzing noises, a voice occasionally reads numbers and names in Russian. The source and purpose has never been determined. In this episode, it may seem that we've unraveled the mysterious lunar moon music. However, as you can hear, there are still many strange sounds out there that are proving far more difficult to identify. If you would like to make comment on what you've heard in this episode, you can on the episode page at strangepodcast.com. There you'll also find interesting links to the resources and evidence featured in this episode. Don't forget you can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter by going to strangepodcast.com. Until next time, thank you for listening.